tonight's vlog is just a little bit more of a hack than anything else. And I think it illustrates the idea that you can either attempt to fix your shortcomings or see if there's a way to, to just kind of work around them. So when I used to get portfolio reviews as a student and fresh out of school, the consistent feedback that I always got was that there was not enough color in my portfolio and that I needed to learn how to use color. If you are a young person and you get that same feedback, here is what I would tell you. If you were supposed to have color in your portfolio, if color was something you gave a crap about, there would be color in your portfolio and you wouldn't be getting that feedback. The thing that I've started doing, because um, it's kind of necessary for me, is uh, I either just use the defaults, um, white, black, and red is a good combination. I might mix a couple muddy colors that I know that I like in general. But the other thing that I'll do is I just find stuff that has a color palette that I like I pop that image into Illustrator, sample all the colors in it, make spot colors, and then boom, I have a color palette. And from there, I will tweak them a little bit just to um, get them purer, because you know sometimes you're like selecting screen grabs and stuff and they get weird. Uh, but I'll, I'll kind of purify them a little bit and then maybe I'll tweak them out as I'm using them. But that tends to be my go-to for color is just like whether it's, a thing I like, like a like a record cover with a great color palette, or it's just a photograph, and I just start sampling out like the sky and the trees and stuff like that. That is my way of getting around having to care about color, be interested in color. Instead, I just look for a whole bunch of things. You know, like I was just doing this, I had like five pieces, I made five palettes, and then I just, whatever I'm doing, I just explore that thing in each of the five palettes. And that's this like quick way for me to learn how to deal with color because I, I just don't care. Black with white and red is always gonna look good and I probably do that way too much. So that's a little hack for you.